Hi, my name is Claire Dewald, and I'm going to be doing my physical assessment of a child on my own son, Elisha. Um, I do give my consent for him to be in this video. Elisha. Um, first, you begin the head to toe assessment by um, hand hygiene. Introduce yourself. Um, Elisha, what is your name? Elisha. Okay, how old are you? No, how, how old are you? Six and awesome. And this is how you spell my name. E L I S. Can you uh, stand up here? We're gonna get your height and weight, buddy. Okay. Can you back up so I can get your weight? Okay. Take your hands off the wall. Awesome. Forty-seven. Okay. Can you put your heels all the way to the wall? Head all the way to the wall too. Good job. So we are at, oh, actually, get off your tiptoes, babe. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Stand up straight, please. Okay, 47 and a half. Awesome. All right. Then you would document your height and your weight in the chart, um, whether that's electronic or writing it down. Elisha, please get in the chair for me. I need to take your vitals. Yes. In the chair for me. Okay. First, I'm going to be taking your pulse. So I got 75 for your pulse, and I got 16 for respirations. Okay. And if you want, you can put this on your on your finger. We can take your. Can we do it that way? Thank you. And we're gonna get your oxygen saturation. Just lay it that way. Do it Okay, so I know that this is not the correct cuff size for a pediatric patient. Um, you would want a cuff that is 40% 40, 40 of their upper arm width and then uh, 80 to 100% of the length. But, and if it's too small, then the reading will end up being too high. And if it's too loose, uh, it will show a decreased blood pressure. Okay. Don't you make it? Just gotta put that right there, okay, bud? Can you make it the same age? That's what... At 92 over 46. Um, could be said also that Elisha does have an AV block and a right bundle branch block. Sorry. And don't be sorry about baby. Sure. Okay, now before you get on the table, babe, um, okay, so you would normally be documenting the vital signs in the patient's chart. Elisha, will you please get back up for me? I need to check some of your cranial nerve reflexes. I know you don't know what that is, but okay. So first, 
Can you look down for me? Good job. Can you turn your head side to side? Awesome. Can you blink for me? Okay. Can you smile? Yeah. Good job. Okay. Can you act like you're chewing? Good job. Swallow? Okay. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to be snapping my fingers behind your head, and I want you to tell me which side you think it's coming from, okay? That side. <laughs> you can see yourself. That side. That side, that side, that okay. side. Okay, so that would be how you could test hearing I'll acuity. See if let's... Also, um, for a child at six, um, you can actually have them try to read a Snellen chart. Um, for visual acuity and have them start at the 2030 line. Um, I do not have a Snellen chart. Elisha, please sit up. Elisha, please sit up. Also, um, I need you to try to follow my finger. No, um, keep your head still. Follow up with your people. What I mean with your <laughs> with your eyes? Good job. Good job, man. Okay, awesome. Now I'm going to turn this light up, and I don't have an ophthalmoscope, but if I did, I would be checking for the red right, uh, red light reflex. Also, um, you can check for the corneal reflex, um, and I'm going to see how his his eyes look when I turn the lights off. Okay. Now I want you to look over here. No, keep your head straight. But move your eyes all the way over here, okay? Now, I'm going to shine my light over here. Don't pay attention to it. Look over at my finger. Look at my hand. Good job. You're the beautiful. Oh, you too. All right, so pupils are equal, round, and reactive to light. No um, jaundice or drainage is present in the eyes. Please get up so I can do the rest of the this. Okay, skull is symmetrical and is intact. Face is sym symmetrical and intact. No bruising, lesions, or drainage is noted. Yeah. Um, conjunctiva are appropriate for ethnicity. They look uh, pink, moist, and soft. No drainage noted. Can you tilt your head up? Nearest is patent. No drainage noted. Okay, can you open? Wait, wait. Let me check your ears first, babe. Okay, right, so outside, outer ear um, is intact. And ear canal is intact. There is some serum buildup. Turn, so I can get this one. External ear is intact and some serum noted. We need to clean your ears, bud. Okay. So, good job. Okay, can you open your mouth for me? Okay. All teeth are present except for the front bottom one, which he just lost. Can you sit up for me? Okay, now I'm gonna feel your neck. Okay, is it? Okay, so Elisha also has lymphadenopathy on both sides of his neck. No, no, no tracheal deviation is present, no jugular vein distension is present, but um, right lymphadenopathy is tender, left is non tender. Can you sit this way so the camera can see, baby? Okay. Can you shrug your shoulders for me? Good job. Can you squeeze my hands? Good job. Wait, I'm gonna try to push out. You try to pull my hands in. Good job. Okay, now let me see you move your arms around. Good job. Range of motion is intact. Full range of motion. Um, reflexes are strong. Okay, now I need to listen. No, I need you to still sit up for me. Okay, I need to listen to your lungs, okay? Uh, chest, uh, the skin, 
is intact, breathing is symmetrical and unlabored. Take big breath for me. Okay. Stop, well, I should take normal breaths for me. Just breathe normally for me. Good job, sit up for me. Elisha. Breathe, Elisha. Okay. No adventitious lung sounds are heard. Uh, lung sound clear. So, and now I need to listen to your heart. Like I said, Elisha does have an AV block. Can you sit up for me, please? Yeah, it's fine. Um. Heart sounds were heard. They're strong. Um, they're not regular. They they are irregular. No murmurs are heard. Um, also, Smell. no uh, cyanosis or paler is noted. Um, capillary refill is good. It's less than two seconds on both hands. Um, skin is warm, dry, intact. I'm doing snow and cut. Um, now I'm going to be checking out your tummy, okay? Abdomen is intact, uh, it is non-distended. I'm going to be listening to your tummy, okay? Before I do that, I apologize. There is no edema noted on this child. Also, um, no cyanosis anywhere on his body that I see. No clubbing um, of the nails. And pulses. Okay, left carotid is felt strong. Right is strong. Okay, let me feel your 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 wrist. Squeeze it and start. No, we don't need to squeeze. I need to feel your pulses. Radio pulses felt bilaterally. Please stop. Ketal pulse is felt bilaterally. Okay, back to the abdomen. Please turn over. Like I said, no distension is noted. Start at the right lower quadrant with auscultating. Active bowel sounds are heard in all four quadrants. I'm going to put my hands, no tenderness noted, abdomen is soft. Okay. Now, can you raise your legs for me up and down? Good job. Full range of motion is present in the lower extremities. Skin is intact. Um, no bruising, lesions, or drainage present. Um, can you push on my hands for me? Here we go. Like push this up. Good job. Can you lift your toes back to your face? As far as you can. Good job. Can you twist your ankles around? Roll your ankles. Okay. Now, if the child permits, you can um, do a genitourinary assessment um, of the perineal area. I'm not going to expose him on camera, but Anyway, you would feel the lymph nodes in the groin area. Um, there is slight lymphadenopathy present. Um, testes are distended and no drainage lesions or um, bruising abnormalities are present. Good job, Elisha. And posterior back uh, surface is intact, no bruising. 
or lesions are present. Hair is clean and kept. Nails are kept and clean. Nails are kept and clean. You did great. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Bye.